Hello, family. Thank you once again for joining us. This is a, an evening of mission because I am accompanied by the man on a mission. So let's see how it goes, guys. For those who have seen the topic, it says every account or every account in on passive is a business of its own. I know that this is a topic that we have been discussing over and over and over, but we can never have all enough of it. So let's hear what the man on the mission will be saying about this. Welcome, bro. Thank you, Sister Comfort. Always a pleasure to be with you. And we have a great topic today. I hope that we have as much attendance as we can possibly get. If not, people will be able to follow us later on, right? Through your YouTube channel. Right. Okay. Indeed. So great yes, topic. sure. Exciting well, they're, topic. They're with us here. Yeah, they're with us here live. And so, guys, share your perspective. Tell us what you think, and then, of course, we'll, we'll make use of whatever contribution you make, and let's discuss this together. So, bro, what comes to mind? Every account of Unpassive is a business of its own. There's so much to say, so we want to hear from you first. I know, thanks. There's a whole lot to say about this. If we remember in the beginning, our CEO always told us, one account is all you need, right? And of course, you know, some of us got to have two, three, four, five, ten accounts or even more. But the truth of the matter is one account is good enough, meaning that it's going to be able to sustain you and your family. Right. So if you have two accounts, you just have to multiply it by two. If you have ten, multiply that by ten. So basically, what is it? It's a business on its own. And, and I tell people initially we paid what ninety-seven dollars coming in, right? And I like to give a, a, a real life analogy. Look at it as you just paid for an office space, right? The office space is online, that's for sure. It's online or a store. And then we're gonna put products in that store when the time comes, right? And then you can begin to sell it, sell those products. So guess what? You have one account. You put the products in that store. You have two accounts. You put the products in the second store and the third store and so on. So you're selling in each and every one of those, right? Sister Comfort, what do you think, what do you think about that? Yeah, sure. I think I like your analogy because you make it very uh, understandable for everybody. And especially the fact that we always remember people who are joining us new or anybody who's just stopping here in passing so that you know exactly what we are talking about because this is massive so it's a whole suite it's a suite where you find everything now you you call it it's a one-stop shop it's a suite it's brick and mortar it's everything but anything you need is inside this shop and so you just have this one account for example those who have just one and so it's a good thing if you have this one because you can make everything possible out of it you know because ash makes it as easy as he can to make sure that, as he would say, that even his grandmother, of course, or even the, for, for dummies, right? Very easy to manage, very easy to run, and all of those things. So uh, one account is enough. One account is enough to take you to anywhere you want to, to, to go, to anything you want to do. And you have all of the products. You just need to do what is expected of you. Because the good news here about this account being a whole business of its own is the fact that when you are in there the only thing you have basic things to do the rest of it is heavy duty the heavy duty starts or it started from the conception of the whole idea itself to building the product because if they ask me how do they write coding all of those things i have no idea and thanks be to god i don't need to know i don't need to know how the products are built i don't need to know what they do at the background i just need to know that this product is here you don't even need to know what it is meant for but then buy it and just keep it in your shop, in this suite, such that people who need it, Ash and his team, they know the people who need it and they present it to them. They bring it before their eyeballs that, look, this is what you have. And the moment they get into your suite, they're like, oh, my God, like Red Red Friend would say, I want that one. I want the other one. I, oh, my God, they have this one and stuff like that. So all you need to know is. If you are already a founding member, as we used to call ourselves, and now early bird affiliates and all of those, have you, <laughs> you cannot believe, bro, 
let me ask this question have you migrated from the oes to the from back office to the oes have you signed up signed your nda and so on have you paid for your own connect let the only excuse for you not paying your first product be that you were cut up when uh the payment was suspended so it's a whole suite and it's it's just self-reliant it's, it's something it's, it's not, not, not like anything we've seen before and so we are, we should be happy where we are just with one account but gradually we'll move to people who have many accounts but i think i have a few and he has a few so bro i, I don't know what else you want to add so yeah i, I just want to extend the, the whole analogy especially for the new folks right because those of us founders who've been listening to each of us for very many years right long time so we get it but i know there are going to be some people listening who may be new maybe they just signed up or they're planning to sign up right so let me just explain again that analogy one more time so what on passive has decided to do is to build a business for each and every one of us by us just acquiring one account right so imagine the company has come to us and said listen i have access to this very busy shopping mall now i'm just again giving lifetime analogy this shopping mall happens to be online okay and we know how busy online is they're gonna come online they're gonna build us a store and that's a domain name that's what we all are gonna get each person a domain name so somebody types for example www.comfort.com they land on her store or in her store right so guess what in that store the company now puts in the products that we have some are gonna be free like for example right now we have O mail we have O net we have O trim they are free right and then O connect which is a video conferencing thing which is paid product so anybody comes to that store they can use those your free products at no charge but if they get fascinated with O connect they're gonna pay for it and sooner or later we're gonna have more paid products coming into that store right so as the products are coming out or tracker you get it in the store right or virtual you get it in the store so there's more variety in that store when they come in guess what they purchase something of value because each one of our products is gonna have a lot of value okay they purchase them you make commission and if you have two accounts like sister comfort is saying but some people have two accounts meaning each of those products will be placed in each of those accounts so the company now opens two separate stores for you independent of each other right so the more accounts you have the more stores you have within that shopping mall within that online space how about that it, it, it's just crazy bro because it's it's yeah. difficult to round to wrap your brains about it you know like yesterday we had the heroes webinar you know uh, gina liver was like People forget really quick, or uh, people quickly lose sight of what they have at hand. Somebody just needs to keep reminding, we need to keep reminding ourselves of this so that you should know that where you are now, you are just fine. So I'm happy you, you, you take time to break it down, bro, because sometimes people misunderstand it, especially if you are new or if you have been away for a while, you need to wake up now and be part of this because you have no clue look at what i've got here guys so let's ignore that so you have no clue what is waiting for you if you've not been following up so stand up now start doing something because you may sit there and fold your arms to say yeah i've got my account and they say one account is whole business what are you doing you need to stock your store right you stock it up i like i come from a place where i live i grew up with moms and aunties who do petty trade so if you sell, if you sell, I have a, a, a shop in the market. You need to bring in tomatoes. You need to bring in a, a, a pepper. You need to bring in salt, maggi. You need to bring up all of those things. Or let's make it beauty shop so that everybody understands. You need hair. You need nails. You need makeup. You need all, the, all of those things. Bring them onto the, the into your shop. But then what you say, as Bro says, we have all connect now, which is ready. We are using it every day. People are paying for it. Uh, people have been paying for it, but then there's the, the as the payment process is coming back again so that we start paying you know after all connect you don't say i'm done right keep on watching 
The moment the CEO comes and says, all tracker is ready, pop, just go ahead, buy it. Your job is very simple. Buy it, put it on the shelves and walk away. The only thing you come back and watch, you just go back to the banks, smiling from molar to molar, from jaw to jaw, because you are like, what is Mr. Mufare and his team doing? Because they know who wants what, at, at what time, from what part of the world, with the help of artificial intelligence. Guys, ignore that. I have somebody here annoying me. So that is the thing. Let's just keep our eyes open, listening. When it's ready, pick it up, put it in your shop, because you only get the, 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 the apples rolling down when you stop your shop because even in real time one of the things bro that uh, we used to talk about a lot right some people think that maybe because i don't know what the product is used for why should i buy it because how do i sell it you are not selling it because you can't sell it anyway i don't know who's, who who needs it but the people who need it they will come for it so buy it there and leave there and leave it there some people will say why should i buy it when i will not use it you don't need to use it. And I come back again to my beauty shop. I like saying about it. Everybody has, has their own analogy. I have a beauty shop. I don't like uh, eyelashes. But I know that if this lady is doing her wedding, she needs a wedding gown for my shop. She needs all of the wedding set. And eyelashes are missing and nails are missing. They will go where they have all of those things in one shop. So I buy them and keep them there for the person who would need them. And then so that when they come, they have everything in my shop. That's why I call it a one-stop shop. Because I have eyelashes, I have nails, I have the dress, I have the shoes, I have the clothes and everything. Don't leave any stone unturned. Don't leave anything that you see out there that is for sale. It's not you consuming it. The person, the consumer will come through Ash and his team. Bro, I hope that I'm saying something. No, no I, I can't. I really, I truly like your, your example of the beauty store because guess what? You're right. If somebody comes to your store and it, you just don't have that those eyelashes they're gonna abandon everything everything and then go to the next store which has everything you see so that's a very very good example i want to i want to say that like oh connect first of all guys which is what we have now is available to us now oh connect in itself is enough for all of us our founders and affiliates to be very happy with this company if that's the only thing you have in your store guys in 2022, O Connect was estimated, well, not O Connect, video conferencing was estimated at around 7 billion US dollars, right? Well, guess what? By 2032, that number is expected to rise way beyond 22 million US dollars, 22 billion US dollars. So imagine where we sit. And now, like Sister Comfort said, once we start having the other products with their own market cap, you keep piling up, you keep stacking up the cool. Here's the advantage of that. Somebody may not need O-Connect or may not need video conferencing, but they need IP tracking, right? They come to the store to get your IP tracking or they need a VPN to get your O-Virtual. But because they come there, they will see that there's O-Connect. And they say, wait a minute, what's this? Let me try, it works. They purchase it. You are in money. A lot of stores, I'm in the United States, and I've seen it happen in a lot of stores, right? They come in, they don't carry certain things, but they realize, oh, we have this group of people that like this thing, right? And they don't want you to go elsewhere. And they bring that stuff in your store because they know you come to get that stuff, you will get other things, okay? So that's how you do business. You make sure you get everything that is available that people are looking for, so they may come for one item, but they end up going out with two, three, four, five items, and you are in money. That's how business is done. Bro, I think we all are victims of this. Sometimes they say women, but I'm, I'm just trying to in include everybody, including you. There's sometimes I go to the shop to buy just bread and I come back with a cart full. You know, oh, yes. That's what Unfasic is doing. <laughs> Why we're bringing the examples back home is for everybody, especially those who've been either missing out or just joining new. They get a picture of what we are into, right? So it's such an interesting thing. And I left this here for a bit, what our, our, our sister Lynn Nakamoto is saying. She says the business model of Unpassive uh, is designed to ensure success, our success. That's very true, sis. And we have discussed this even with you, bro. You know what? Again, 
people li sometimes people listen to stuff and they don't get it well they rush quickly and go take other decisions or they do other things that could lead them you know some people may succeed more than others others may reach the top a bit faster than others just because they follow instructions because yes ash's mission is being accomplished he has built the, the software he has the marketing department he has the media he has everything possible but then what is Ash driving traffic onto? He is traffic master, he's traffic guru, call it any name. He knows it like nobody else would, right? But then what is he driving traffic to? To products, to the things that you have in your shop. Why am I saying it, it, it would be bright into your shop? Because you have all of those things that they will come and buy. But if you hear about those, then they are buying or connect. The next thing comes and you don't buy it. You don't get traffic because there's nothing to sell. Or they come there and like colleagues would say sometimes if there's somebody who comes say, how can you send me to a shop where they don't have what i want they have just one thing and i wanted this and that and that and that so success is guaranteed however the choice to be successful is yours and it's mine what are you doing to grab to to leverage on this free gift that ash is giving into you and myself we know how much people have gone through online we know what has happened we know what people have gone through we know how much people have watched thousands and millions and hundreds of thousands go down the drain this time around you got it you started with some 97 dollars which is finally given back to you and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger the choice to receive it take it and run away with it is yours bro do you think in that line so oh yeah it's big it's kind of huge right so like you said a lot of people cannot wrap their heads around it you just mentioned something about traffic and, and let me just go back to what i said earlier right the company comes to us and says hey i'm gonna get you guys a store in a very busy area in this case the internet and then in addition to that i'm gonna go out look for customers that want what is in your store and send them to your store i'll bring them inside your store how do they do that by using ai right artificial intelligence goes online on the whole internet space and looks for people that are searching for oh video conferencing oh i need an ip tracking software or oh, i need a vpn and guess what they do they send them to your store go to comfort store go to chelsea store go to lean store and guess what when they come to your store they get a comfort store comfort has five items and they come to my store and i have 10 items who do you think is likely to make more sales? My store or comfort store? So that's what we're talking about, right? So try and load your store with as many of the products that we have as possible. For me personally, there will be no product out there that I don't have in my store, just so you know. Okay. Great, great, great concept. Yeah. True, true because that. you know... Yeah, you know, bro, like earlier on, I talked about me going to buy bread and come back with a cart. Again, let, right. let's, let's go back to, to, to this, you know, because people are, people are actually spending money out there. Even what they call traffic, what people say, the companies who say they drive traffic, it's just a hit and miss. They just go get whatever they find out there, send, uh, send to, your, to your platform because you paid them money. And so if you're lucky, somebody finds something, they pay for it. What is Ash doing? He is sending targeted traffic. He is sending somebody to look at your old connect because that person is looking for a video conferencing platform. The person, the moment that person comes there, he's like, what's happening here? What is this? What's this? What is he starts touching things here and there like a little kid in a candy shop and then he discovers old tracker is a businessman. Say, oh my God, what is this? You click on it and see the features. See, I've never seen a thing like this before. It's sophisticated, it's state of the art, it's built from scratch with artificial intelligence, and it is pocket friendly, it's cost effective. He's like, I am dumping the one that I just bought yesterday because all I've done there is spend money and it brings me nothing. If truly this is what they have for this price, I'm taking the video conferencing I came for, I'm taking this old tracker, I'm taking the human resource management uh, 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 software, I'm taking this one, I'm taking, you know, before you know it, you take a card out of here and it goes back to you grabbing your success by yourself. Are you preparing? Are you waiting? Such that if, because people are waiting, and then, you know, we are waiting now for 
have to finally let loose and let the floodgates flow because i'm sorry it's holiday and so much is happening summer and noise and stuff bear with me so guys listen when they open the floodgates anytime ash is ready apples are rolling we're able to pay in and cash out people are asking these questions what is your excitement about what would you be doing with your first fruit just rushing down and getting you a, a posh car a whatever i don't know good cars but getting you that dream car or are you going to like kind of plow back because the moment uh, to the best of my knowledge and how we're looking is just it's just us ash has not said that but if he said it you would have heard the moment everything is smooth running i can pay in and cash out i believe and i think a few people think so that ash would definitely release other products which are in the queue just waiting for this flow of transaction to happen so are you planning to get your first fruit and plow back or do you just want to get you first that nice car or go for that holiday first before you think about business it will not work like that like michael williams will say if you starve your business it will starve to death so feed your business plow back get the first fruit give it back get it just get what product is ready i'm just paying i'm paying i'm paying before you know it you're just swelling like this and swelling and swelling because this person comes with the intention of getting one and leaves with five and you are five times or five more apples than you expected hopefully i am making sense here so let's hear what Mo says well you you, you make perfect sense so the, the way i look at it is this now say comfort is starting up a business and i'm starting up the same business right and comfort has more money than me to put up for the business so let's just say comfort has 500 dollars, and i have a hundred dollars right so guess what a product costs a hundred dollars let's just say that way i can only afford one product now comfort can come in and afford five products out of the gate but i can only afford one product so guess what's going to happen every time i make commission or i make profit i'm going to try and get a second product now with two products the profit will grow faster and then i get a third product and then the profit will go faster. I get a fourth product, right? But Comfort, on the other hand, because she invested heavily in the beginning, she can start pulling out the, the profit. So what the CEO, what Ash has done, this business is really meant for those of us who don't have money, okay? So therefore, we don't have to start big. We start small. We're starting small with one product. But what we want to do is make sure we can grow that business, right? So what that does, what does that mean? That means that when a second product comes out, the profit or commission that we have made from that one product, we can purchase the second product. Now together, more commissions will come in faster. And then we can purchase a third product and then a fourth product. Before you know it, more commissions are coming. We have enough to purchase more products and yet enough to do whatever it is that we want to do. We'll get that Porsche car that Comfort is saying, right? But that's how business people think, right? You grow the business first, and then you start getting to the profits, right? Wonderful concept. We are in a good place. We really are in good hands. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed, we are. We're in good hands. We are fine. Everything is fine. Nothing, things will never be the same again. It's just we're going on up higher and higher, higher every day, like we're seeing back home. So earlier on, Antelene said that um, one one account is all you need that's good stuff and i wanted us to revisit this bro because people get people like people get a bit nervous for no reason right one account is enough given what we have discussed here because if we even look at even one product is enough did we talk about that bro just a single product is enough business to run you for your whole life as if leave a legacy all right let's look at all connect and other, other video conferences have been before All Connect. They have made millions, especially during the COVID. They were nothing near what All Connect has. Listen, but then they have made it really, really, really big. That's how massive on passive it is. No matter how you try, you are never able to wrap your brains about, around it because you can do well with just one product like All Connect. So when you say, when Auntie Lynn says, one account is enough, that's a good thing. 
people are like, oh my God, the CEO said this and she is saying it again. So now that we have many, many, many products, um, sorry, many accounts, are we in trouble and so on and so forth? I think this is, this is making me to lead us to somewhere so that we, we should gradually be going to the end, bro. So people who had one account, congratulations, good job, life, your life will never be the same again. It's changed for good. Your generations will come and meet wealth. If you had more than an account each, that is one of the, those are the people who have the vision of Mr. Mufare. Anybody who had more than an account, we don't have, blame, we're not blaming anybody, but anybody who has just one account did well and it's a good job. So when you have one and you take another one, it's because you are thinking about a widow next door who lives under a leaking roof, no food, the children are not going to school. You are like, this one account is for me and my immediate family. This one, I can use it, build a house, put a roof over the widow and her children, give them a life. I just, you know, can empower my community and stuff like that. So one account, one responsibility. Two accounts, two responsibility. So it's spreading your arms as wide and as long as the accounts are because you will cover miles, you will go far and wide just helping people and being satisfied because you are helping people, you are heavily loaded, you are well-placed, you are happy and you watch everybody being happy and that's where the humanitarian mission of Onbasi comes in because as you will hear, I would say, if you take the uh, humanitarian aspect of Onbasi uh, or out of this business, he would, be, he would be weak, he would be left with nothing. He will lose his power, all the energy that he's putting into this. So don't be worried, like uh, Brad Charles said earlier on, I think he will still come back to that. If you have one account, it's a business. Two accounts, you have two businesses. So those are multiple streams of income. You have multiple streams of income within one account, and you have those multiple streams of income coming within each and every one of those accounts. And that is how many your list of people and communities you will help is increasing because you are like what will i be doing with this do i need this much no do i want to smile with myself when the next person near me is, is weeping no so you just go around and give and be happy and just celebrate yourself and say god thank you bro that's how i look at it well you're looking at it very well because remember our ceo has said from the get-go i mean from the beginning we are out to lift up humanity right that's that's the key but at the same time he realized that a lot of people could not afford more than one account, right? So he didn't want to put undue stress on anybody, okay? And he also realized that this is going to take some time to build because we are building something that will last for generations to come, right? I understand that people have been in a hurry. Uh, we all need money. I need money more than anybody I can think of, to tell you the truth. However, I also want this thing to be so stable. I want this thing to be so stable in a way that once we launch there's no going back so i can understand now those of us who have more than one account like comfort just said is because we are thinking of the person next door we have communities especially those of us from africa or third world countries not just africa but any third world country most of the time you have so many people around you that cannot afford the bare necessities of life Right, and the way I look at it is like, wow, the God who sent me to this world has given me this opportunity. Right, it's possible though, it's possible that He will not have shown it to me, but He showed it to me, and I know that when I eventually meet Him, my Maker, He's gonna say, My son, I showed you this thing. What did you do? You were selfish, right. Okay, and you could afford it. Now, I'm not saying if you cannot afford it, it's okay. He will not blame you. But if he knows that you could afford it, but you only did it for yourself, knowing fully well that you have people around you that may need it and are not exposed to it. What did you do? So that's the way I looked at it. Okay, every time I bought an extra account is when I thought about that. I said, you know what? Wait a minute. Let me get another account. You know what? I mean, I mean, I'll get a third account and so on. So that when the time comes, okay, and the, the apples start falling, I can now say, hey, I have enough for myself. I'm going to fill my pockets. Like Ash always says, fill your pockets first, make sure you're comfortable, and then you can now reach out to the others, right? Because even if you're in a plane and there's shortage of air, they tell you, get your oxygen mask first, right? 
and then you get it for your child, your own child, right? Because if you cannot help yourself, there is no way in the world you can help anybody else. So that's where we are. Those of you, one account, you are just good. Two accounts is okay. Ten accounts or however many accounts you have, we are all in the same process of helping to lift up humanity. Wonderful thing. Exactly. Not exactly. More that that, that. That's true, bro. It's very, very satisfying because, you know, um, sometimes it's like, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. I wish everybody, there are, there are a lot of good heart, good hearted people around the world, but they lack two things, either one or both of these two, time and money. So that's what Ash is here to give you, total freedom, time and financial freedom. So he says, take, here is time, here is money, here are resources. Go out there and just do that thing which your heart is killing you. Your heart, you can't sleep at night. You just want to do that thing. Go out there now and get it done and have some peace. And finally sleep, smile, or even shed tears of joy that I can't believe that have transformed somebody's life. So if you are watching us, either you're just new and on passive or you're just passing by and you hear us do this, do not go away. Stop by, listen well, listen again. Ask a question in the chat, follow up and get something done because this is Empowerment Network and we are empowered by the most, the strongest and the biggest humanitarian movements that has ever happened in the name of an IT company on planet Earth. Don't go. This is that place that will empower you and you will get out there and just make it happen. You go out there, instead of giving handouts, you give them the real stuff, say, take, this is business. Go ahead and just run it by yourself. Take, this is a home, live in there and do what you want to do. Feel free, take money out of your own pocket and pay school fees for your children and do stuff because we have enough for everybody. So I will leave it here and let my brother Charles round this up for us. And if you have any call to action, bro, it's yours. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, the journey has just started, right? We've built the foundation. We have founders that are going to take this to another level. If you're one of the founders, thank God for that because you were, you were at the right place and at the right time. If you're not one of the founders, believe me, it's not late, okay? To tell you the truth, there are going to be associates that are going to come in, take this business so seriously that will even make more money than some founders, right? It's going to happen. But let's look at it this way. We are on a mission to bring in as many affiliates as possible. Thankfully, we have AI to help us do the job. AI is going to do an amazing job for us. Those of you who don't want to talk, you don't have to talk to anybody. You will be just fine. Some of us who are talking is because we want to fish out those people that AI may not get to, right? Because guess what? AI, for AI to get to you, you need to be online. You need to be on the internet. And there are some of those people back in Africa, back in terrible countries that cannot afford internet, right? They say 25% of Africans can afford internet, which means what? We have 75% don't have it. And then of those 25%, only 5% can be online consistently. Imagine. So all these people, AI might miss them. So it's our responsibility to go out, fish them out, so we can change the world together. We can help lift up humanity. And have a great day. If you're not part of us, please, it's not late. Come in as an affiliate and you will be happy. You'll be glad you did. Okay? Yes, so true. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you for coming. It's always a pleasure having you. Thank you, family, for all the contributions. It was quite uh, interactive. And let's keep on uh, spreading the gospel of unpassive. We are already fine, like Oliver would say. What we are doing is we can't keep it to ourselves because it's so sweet and it's love and there's still room for someone. Why not bring them in? So thank you guys and have a wonderful evening. Bye. All right.